Texaco service stations and dealers from coast to coast present the new Jumbo Fire Chief program. We are broadcasting from the sawdust ring of the New York Hippodrome, scene of the most spectacular theatrical venture of the time. An actual audience of 4,500 people is present, and we've asked them not to laugh or applaud so that you may better enjoy the program. The story is written by Ben Hex and Charles McArthur, with original songs by Richard Rogers and Lawrence Hart. The cast stars Jimmy Durante in a new and lovable comedy role, Claudius B. Bowers, the B stands for brain. Arthur Sinclair, Dean of the Irish Theatre, as John A. Considine, owner of the Jumbo Show. Donald Novus as Matt Mulligan, son of Considine's bitterest business rival. A.P.K., prominent theatre guild actor, as Jellicoe. Miss Gloria Grafton, in the part of Considine's daughter. With Charles Henderson singing Razorback, Adolf Deutsch, musical director, all under the personal supervision of Billy Rose. in the morning. The Greater Considine Wonder Show has just fixed tent. In the circus ring, jugglers, animal trainers, contortionists, and acrobats are rehearsing. Overhead, the daredevils of the high wire and trapeze are limbering up. As they practice, we hear the song of the circus. Diablo, you better do it over again. Line up the parade. Right, sir. Have him. Off them purchase, my lad. 9.35. Parade starting. We ain't parading. Hey, what? Now get this into your limey head. We ain't parading. Give me Mr. Considine. What's the delay, Jellico? Some of the artists are showing a little reluctance, Mr. Considine. Reluctance? And what for? Come and have a look outside at Main Street. It's bulging with little pots. Holes and balloons and whistles. And the rails are dressed in the thunder bits. They're hanging out of windows, like clusters of ripe cherries, waiting for the Considine Wonder Show. Waiting for the Mulligan Circus, you mean. Who said that? Well, that was Mr. Ball what spoke there. Step forward, Mr. Ball. Gladly. Mr. Ball, take off those silks and spangles. You're unworldly. And incidentally, get out of me, sir. I'll get out when you pay up what you owe me. Oh, do? What about me? Three weeks and not a dime. And we're still working out. We're out of here. Yeah, the nothing but empty promises. Silence! I gave each and every one of me word that you would be paid every penny. No more, no less. And completely. How do you expect to pay us when everywhere we go, the Mulligan Circus gets all the business? Well, you're a pretty faint hearted lot. Mulligan's true, I tell you. One more week or so, we'll have that bog dropper on his knees. Begging me to take him back as my part. Now, talk reasonable, Mr. Considine. There's no use kidding us. What? We've got jumbo, haven't we? The best-loved elephant from here to the high Sierra. That elephant's been fed peanuts by mayors, governors, and great financiers 
from the time that was in short pants. Give this town one look at Jumbo, and all our troubles are over. Come on now, man. Get into your costume. You're old enough to parade. There'll be no snap decision, Mr. Jellicoe. This matter calls for a vote. Come on, boys. The balloting will be in the cook tent. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Dorothy. You're just in time for the parade. Oh, I'm not going. I have to rehearse. Now, don't tell me lies, Mickey. There's only one thing that'll be keeping you here, and I know what it is. If I ever catch that mulligan boy around here again, I'll beat the hide off him. Now, mind what you're up to, or I'll ship you back to your mother. Constantine! Constantine! What's the matter now? Why, well, it's mutiny in the cook tent. Mr. Ball's advocating that the men join up with the mulligan, sir. I'll fix this wagon for him. You stay here while I talk to the men. Fuck you, Arthur. <laughs> that fellow sneaking into the tent. He's dressed like a sheep. We haven't any air abs in this outfit. Hey, Abdul, take off that turban. You wait a second, Pasha. Why, blimey, if it ain't Mulligan's son. Say, you get out of here. Just a minute, Mr. Jellicoe. This is a sociable call. You heard me now. Get going. Run along, Jellicoe. I can handle him. All right, Miss Constantine. Would you mind your father doesn't catch him here? Mickey, why didn't you keep the date last night? Oh, I had more interesting things to do than consorting with a mulligan. Ah, oh, take the ice pack off your heart, my little pookie. Mickey, I love you. I'm crazy about you. There's nothing in the world I want except you. Mickey, you're the craziest, loveliest kid that ever shined the earth. I just like talking to you in this vein because it'll only spoil you. And anyway, it's hard for an acrobat to bow to anybody except an audience. I won't kiss your hand, madame. Crazy for you, though I am. I'll never woo you on bended knee. No, madame, not me. Let's forget the screen and stage and for a change act My romance doesn't have a new have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need a blue lagoon standing by. No month of May, no twinkling star. No can make my most fantastic dream come My romance doesn't need a I couldn't leave Daddy. Who said leave him? We'll take him along. Put him in the back seat and let him sing those old Irish ballads about how old Casey hit old Finnegan with the parlor stove. Ah, oh, but I'd have to be Mrs. Muller. And who else would you want to be? Oh, come on, my little reign of terror. My romance doesn't have a crown in the sky. My romance No. 
dance to a constantly surprising refrain. Right away, I can make my most fantastic dream come true. My romance, romance doesn't need a thing of you. My romance is Better get young Mulligan out of here. Well, thanks, Jellico. Come on, darling. Okay, Mickey. Is this the concert I want to show? Yes, sir. If you don't mind, I'd like to pack up a little government literature. Here, 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 here. Off a moment, lad. So what do you think you were doing, packing up them signs on the tent poles? There's no advertisements allowed in this tent. What's that? What do those signs say? Auction? You lose auction in our circus hall. The United States government. The government? For sale in jeopardy for back income taxes. Code 64, Article 13. Yes, but truck me, pink governor, there ain't never been no income. Not a farthing. This fella, Considine, is the only man to the United States to receive the triple X warning. And he never even answered that. Now, when is it all going to take place, mister? The auction, I mean. At high noon. What, today? Oh, in the name of humanity, sir. Don't start nothing until you've had a chat with Mr. Considine. I'll go and find him. The sooner the better. I'll wait here. Where is everybody? Mr. Constantine! Hey, somebody announce me! Tell Mr. Constantine and Mr. Bowers is here! The place is evacuating. Hey, have you seen Mr. Constantine? Not yet. I'm waiting for him. Anything I can do for you, Squire? Mr. Constantine has no secrets for me. Connected with his outfit? What a query! Here's the robin connected with the springtime. There's a song in the lock connected with the twilight. That's how I'm connected. Press agent for the greater continent, one of the shoes. Brady Bowers, indispensable. The mad psychologist. Waiting for Mr. Constantine, you say? Business? Yes, yeah, a little financial matter. <laughs> I knew it. Call an intuition. I spotted you for a banker the minute I clapped eyes on you. Well, Squire, let me tell you something right off the record. In this business of confidence, this circus is the best investment there is today. You can't go wrong buying an on this show. Is that so? Our fit been doing well? Terrific! The most stupendous scene of since Ben Hur. I'd like to write some of these facts down if you don't mind. Now, how did you do in 1931? Up and a year. We broke all records. And how about 1932? I'm glad you asked. How lucky of King's Ransom. For instance. How much would you say you made in those two years? Well, uh... I should say roughly that the net intake per annum has been in a vicinity of 250 grand. You better make that 300,000 to be on the safe side. With pleasure. Put down a million for the three years and you'll still be under. I'm telling you, it's a bonzon. Would you care to sign this statement you just made? Why not? Here, I'll sign. Claudius B. Bowers. B is for brain. Thank you. By the way, Squire, what bank are you associated with? The Guaranteed Trust? I'm not with any bank. I understood you to say you were waiting for Mr. Constantine on a financial matter. I sure am. Who do you represent? May I ask? The government. What government? The USA? Well, that's fine. What's the idea of lying to me and telling me you're a leading banker? It's malfeasance of office. I said nothing of the sort. Now that you're sailing under your screw colors, what branch of the government do you represent? The Income Tax Department. Of Palestine. Of blackness. Well, this time you're bumped up against the wrong tree. The time has come to make an example of a few, you hawk doors. Liberally. Give me back that paper I signed. Sorry, it's part of the court record. That statement was got out of me by underhand methods. Chicanery, that's the word. Something horrible's happened. The performers are walking out. Oh, hello, Mr. Bowers. We're in hot water this time. Leave us alone, Mr. Jellicoe. Shall I crash this matter out? 
So you're going to auction off this circus, are you? That's your little game, huh? Duping around. Undermining honest businessmen. Taking them down for money to plant trees with. But I knew. I warn you this matter will be on President Poozle's desk in the morning. We're fraternity brothers. <laughs> Take my <Mackay>. car. <laughs> Take a telegram, Mr. Jellicoe. Yes. Yeah. Franklin G. Roosevelt. Where is he at the moment? He's on a yacht. Who's yacht? Vincent Astor. Another Sigma Chi. <laughs> on a yacht, huh? Well, we'll reach him with pigeons. Oh, this is too horrible. Do something, Mr. Bauer. Depend on me like the rocket you brought her. I'll be back in a twinkling of an eye. <laughs> Mr. Jericho, who put these auction signs up? I did. Well, you can take them right down and get off these grounds before I go to work on you. You're talking Uncle Sam now, Mr. Considine. I don't care what your name is. Mr. Jericho, hand me that silly lady. Yes. I've got five men here from Washington, all G-men. At noon today, we're selling this circus to the highest bidder. Oh, what? What did I hear you say? For sale in jeopardy, Code 64, Article 13, for back income tax. 37 letters have been sent you. That's a political lie. Perjury is only going to make matters worse. Considine, do you know a man named Claudius B. Bowers? Brainy Bowers. Sure, me right-hand man. And one of the finest, truest hops in circumstance. He wouldn't lie to us. Mr. Bowers is incapable of lying. That's all I wanted to know. He said you've been cleaning up. Here's a signature to our case. Here's your rent receipt. Now I'll go and have my men take the inventory. Brainy Bowers! Hello. Hello, Chief. How are you? Listen, confidentially, this is critical. There's a guy from the government burrowing around here. Big black hat, gold bag, a little on the stout side. Look at that signature. Don't worry about it. It's all fixed. I threatened him with the President of the United States. Then he folds up. <laughs> His corporal <parcel> stops. <laughs> All I want to know, Bowers, is was you outnumbered? What's that? I said that they get that statement from you by court. That statement about me supposed income. He squealed, huh? I diagnosed him wrong. He had all the earmarks of a leading banker. Chief, don't look at me like that. You'll render me useless. Kindly keep that big chunk of yours out of me trouble. And maybe I can raise me head out of the dust and overthrow me oppressor. Jellico! Yes, sir? Go into the menagerie and see that nobody touches Gumbo. Bowers, are you still standing there? Like the pyramid. Get back to your post in front of that other harm's way. It was a black day that I met you. Where are you going, Chief? Not to the river. I don't know where I'm going, but the show must go on. They'll never crush that noble off. Not while I am at his side. You better jump when the chief tells you to jump. I'm not going to Fond du Lac. No? No. They need me here. Everybody does what they want. No management. What this circus needs is system. Unification of ethics. Why, I got a 5% interest in a little filling station in Albuquerque, and it makes more money than this whole shebang. Yes? Well, what's the secret of your success? The secret of my success is no secret. I sell technical fire chief. Anyone who wants to cross the desert... And get there, buy from me. Yes, but isn't the 5% interest rather small? I coincide with that. It may be small, but it's sure. Once a man tries to take the fire cheap gasoline, he wants it all the time. He becomes a natic. It's that extra power and pep it gives you, without any extra charge. Do you know what horsepower is, Jellico? Horsepower? Yes. Well, take the fire cheap has elephant power. Sure. It's a jumbo of gasoline. Well, I'd try some of that if I had a car. You don't need a car. Anything on wheels will do. Why, I once took a car with the whooping cough, and I gave it one drink of Texaco, and it went away humming like a lark. It's anti knock gas. It takes the knock out of your motor. Takes the knock out? Yeah. You ought to rub some of it on your knees. Oh. Well, Mr. Bowers, I'm glad you'll have something to turn to. We'll be missing you, Mr. Bowers. Not so fast, Jellico. I never desert a sinking ship. As long as John A. Cotsline is in trouble, he can rest his burden on my two broad soldiers. Well, I'm going to look for Mr. Considine now, and you better be off before I return with him. Mr. Jellicoe, 
I wouldn't let no heartbreak happen to you. Mickey, you think of me as Brainy Bow. Cold, unscrutable. What a genius for efficiency. Well, there's another Bower. A dreamer. Just a bundle of emotion. Mickey, if you could look inside my heart, it's a typhoon. It's a heart of gold. Solid. Yeah, I don't know what we'd do without you, Brainy. But makes me happy just to see you. Gee, I'm glad to hear you talk like that. A woman who ain't just face crazy. Listen, I know how much you love the circus, and I'll figure out some way to save us from the auction block. So cheer up, Mickey. Let's see you laugh. There's nothing to laugh about. That's when it's time to laugh. You've got to laugh. Laugh, laugh. When things are better, laughing, you've got to laugh. Laugh, laugh. And take it, tell us about this. Why, I remember years ago, when you were just a baby, we were playing this very town. Always a hard luck town for the Constantine Wonder Show. A guy walks up to me and says, are you Brainy Bowers? I says, yes, I'm Brainy Bowers. He says, see Brainy Bowers? I said, sure. And with that, the guy hands me a paper. A tough piece. Why, you could eliminate me from the Olympic Games. But I laughed. <laughs> I laughed some right out of it. And only yesterday, I was strolling through the Boston store, the Boston store in Minneapolis. I was shopping for a hatter, a nice red cravat. I stoked up, I stoked up. Then I strolled over to the chemise department. I don't know why, but there I was, in the chemise department, unescorted, a lone wolf. When suddenly I see the same guy coming straight towards me saying, So that's the kind of a guy you are, huh? A chemise fancier, a twiddle swap. Be a twiddle swap. That meant fight. I make the leap for him. I miss him. He makes the leap for me. He connects. Then what do I do? I resort to Guy Disney. I grab his wrist with one hand, and with the other hand I twist his leg around his neck. And the first thing you know, I'm flat on my back. I get some kind of waffle, gathers all my strength, and I was off. Yes, I was off. Off like a two pay and a wing star. But he overtakes me. Picks me up and throws me against the wall. I bounce his back. Again he throws me against the wall. Again I bounce his back. A handball player. But to show him what kind of a guy I was, I get up and what do I do? I throw myself against the wall and bounce his back singing. Billy, Billy, bump, your baby boy. Billy, Billy, bump, your baby boy. Billy, Billy, bump. So, Mickey, whenever you're in trouble, I want you to always remember the past boy. Spin up, old feet, and stand the gas. Be a patriarchy and laugh. Ha, ha, ho, ho. Be a patriarchy and laugh. Don't worry, Mickey. Hold the fort till I return with reinforcements. And if things look dark when I'm away and disaster threatens, remember one thing. Rainy Flowers is on the job. Where is Mr. Considine? What can I do for you, Mr. Ball? Very little, Mr. Considine. We're leaving. Well, you're a pretty thing, Tarp and Lock. Walking out in the circus an hour before the auction. We ain't eaten for a week. Have him between us and pop We haven't got a chance. That's... Boys and girls, I'm a showman. I ain't ever felt said or thought a reasonable thing since I was born. I believe in what my heart tells me. And my heart tells me that no one can take me circuit away from me. Are you with me, Poodles McGuire? You know the rumors as well as the rest of us. Mulligan's razor backs are laying outside with stakes in their hands, ready to bust the parade to bits. Sure. So Mulligan's going to start hitting us over the head, is he? That's an answer to me prayers, boys. I've been begging for a stand-up fight for a year. We're outnumbered two to one, Chief. Besides, they've been eating. Outnumbered and undernourished. Some more glory. Come on, we've got jumbo, haven't we? 
Hannibal captured Carthage with a single elephant, half the size of Jumbo, well, according to all the historians, and you skunk before Mulligan. Shame on you, shame on you all. Fall in, follow. Three cheers for John A. Considine. Hoorah, hoorah. Oh, it's no use. Boys and girls, I'm going out there alone and parading by myself if you don't follow me. Listen to that music. Doesn't do anything to you. When we were broke in Milwaukee, when they had us on our knees in Racine, when we were starving in Amarillo, it was that song that lifted us up and won the day for us. Let's hear you sing it now. Come on! Everybody! You men, right! Come on, men! We'll run the mulligan punch! In line! In line, everybody! Undoubtedly, Brainy Bowers will work out a plan to save the day. Just how? Well, we'll find out later. Brainy said Fire Chief has elephant power. It's the jumbo of gasoline. Well, that's his way of saying it, and perhaps it's just as good a way as any to describe the extra power of Fire Chief. Brainy knows the people of Albuquerque want Fire Chief, and that's true everywhere. The Texaco pump is the popular stopping place for gasoline. Why? because Fire Chief fully meets the United States government emergency specifications for fire engines and ambulances. It's faster, you get more speed out of it, and yet you pay the same price as for ordinary gasoline. Try a tank full of Fire Chief. Drive with Texaco and save. Louis A. Witten, speaking for the Texas Company, invites you to tune in again next Tuesday to the Jumbo Fire Chief program for further adventures of the Considine Wonder Show. And remember, whenever you hear the siren and bell, think of Texaco. <laughs> this is the 
International Broadcasting Company.